Okay, so here's an interesting situation in Storyline. Sometimes rather than use the built-in notes feature on the Storyline player, some course developers prefer to place their slide notes or their transcript on a slide layer on each slide. And that's what I've got here. I've got a transcript layer um, on each of my three sample slides here. Well, I was talking with a Storyline user who had done this, and she wanted to make a way for learners to choose whether to see the transcript, but she didn't want them to have to reselect it on every slide. So basically, she needed a way for the course to remember the learner's choice from slide to slide, but still let them toggle the transcript on or off whenever they wanted to. Well, this is a situation where a variable comes in really handy because it'll allow you to tailor the course to display the transcript or not, depending on what the learner chose, even if that choice was made on a different slide. So here's a super simple example. You can see I've just got three slides here in this file. And on each slide, I've added this button down here in the lower right that allows the learner to view the notes. And I've created a layer here to contain those notes. It's just some uh, sample text, and it's different for each of the three slides. And there's kind of two things that we need to consider here. We need to plan for what happens if the learner clicks on that button on any slide, but we also need to plan for how the course should behave if the learner previously clicked the button on any of the other slides. So for the first consideration, what happens if they click the button? Well, that's really easy. If we select the button here, you can see that I've got this trigger to show our transcript layer when the learner clicks. And then on the transcript layer, I've also got another button right here that allows the learner to hide the transcript if the learner clicks. So pretty straightforward. Well, what about remembering the learner's choice of whether they want to view the transcript or not so that they don't have to keep doing the same clicking every single slide? Well, for that, we're going to need a variable to remember their choice, and we'll need a couple of triggers to fire at the beginning of each slide so that Storyline displays the transcript automatically or not based on how the learner has chosen. So let's take a look at the variable. If we click on this little X here, it's going to open up our project variables. We've just got this one. And I called mine show transcript layer. It's a true false variable. And I set the initial value to false since I'm going to assume at the beginning of my course that the learner doesn't want to view the transcript until they click on the button. Okay, so there's our variable. It's all set up. And then on the individual buttons, the view notes buttons on each slide that the learner can click on to view the transcript, I added an additional trigger. So in, in addition to showing the layer, I've also got this trigger that's telling Storyline to flip the value of our variable to true. So it's saying adjust the variable called show transcript layer, give it a value of true when the user clicks on this button. And um, on the layer where the learner can close the transcript on this button, I've got a similar trigger. This one is gonna do the opposite. It's actually gonna flip the value back to false. So we're adjusting the same variable, giving it an, a value of false when the user clicks on the button. So again, it's just a mechanism for us to remember the learner's choice. And then we also need a way to respond to that choice on each slide. So here's how we do that. On each slide, um, we've got a couple of triggers that are going to fire automatically um, at the beginning of the slide timeline. So this first one is telling Storyline to hide that transcript layer when the timeline starts on this slide if our variable is false. This means if the learner turned the transcript off at any point or if they never turned it on, the transcript layer won't show up. And then the second trigger is kind of similar. Um, this one is going to show the layer when the timeline starts if the value has been flipped to true. So in other words, you know, this is what enables us to keep displaying each slide's transcript without requiring the learner to click that button on every single slide. And we've done that on all the slides, so they all have um, you know, similar triggers set up. Of course, the content would be different. The slide notes content you know, on the layers would be different, but the trigger behavior would be the same on each slide. So let's preview this, and we'll have a look at how it behaves. So no transcript um, appears initially. That's the expected behavior. And if I move among the slides here, still no transcript. But if at any point I click on the View Notes button, a transcript pops up. And if I don't close that, it's going to continue to appear regardless of what slide I'm on. You can see how the text is changing, but it's continuing to be visible. If I close it on any slide, it'll stay closed on the remaining slides as well.